Hello guys, I thought it would be a cool idea to make a comparison video between the Mont Blanc 146 and the Pilot Custom E23. So, let's just get started with the sizes. They're pretty much similar in size. The Custom E23 is slightly longer, but in terms of girth, they're pretty much the same size. And this is an amber color, this is an all black. Get more detail of the... So in the Mont Blanc 146, on the band says Meisterstück, number 146, Mont Blanc. Meisterstück means uh, masterpiece in Germany, in German. And the Custom 23, it says Custom 23, pilot made in Japan. So three stars, I think they have lacquer in them. And as you can see, this is like an amber color slightly translucent this is all black there's also a a rhodium trim version of this it's, i think called platinum so let's get into just the sizes when it's uncapped They're similar in length when it's uncapped. The Custom E23 is still longer. And let's look at the nibs. The Pilot Custom E23 comes with a number 15 Pilot nib. It's a monotone nib. The Mont Blanc 146 comes with a gold, gold plated nib. It's a solid gold nib as well. It's a 14 karat gold nib. So is the Pilot. And this is a medium nib, it doesn't show it, or it's just a fine nib. And the Custom E23 has a slightly bigger nib. The nib sections are also similar, but the Custom E23 has a slight taper, which feels a little bit better on, the, on this nib section than this one. The feet are both, I think, plastic. Slightly navy feed. Okay. When it is capped, they're all similar in size when they're capped, and they both feel weighted. It's not back heavy, it's good weight. So is for the Mont Blanc 146, so you could cap. You can post both of them. Now, okay. Now let's talk about uh, how they're filled, the filling mechanisms. So this is a cartridge, no, this is a, sorry, this is a piston converter pen. There is an ink window, I'm not sure you can see. So, yep, right there. This is the 1970s version, and the newer versions have a striated ink window. So you can see the ink in there, which is not that big of ink window, but that's still really useful. And it's a piston converter, so what you do is just unscrew, put the feet in, put the nib in, then just close it up, then it sucks up ink. Whereas the Custom 823 is a vacuum filler. What that means is when you like unscrew this part, I'm not gonna do it because there's ink in it. And because uh, we just pull over. So we unscrew then when, it is, when the end of the vacuum thing is right here, you put it in then it just scoops up all the ink. So this holds a lot more ink than this. And because it's, it's, it's also like slightly more inconvenient uh, to clean the Mont Blanc compared to this because Mont Blanc doesn't have uh, easily unscrewable stuff. Like you could unscrew the sections on here and you could just like clean this a lot easier unless you get Mont Blanc specific cleaning tools with this. So in terms of vacuum filler, this is also has an ink window in a way because hold 
body is translucent. So you can see the amount of ink in there. Yep, right there. I have a pile of blue ink in there. And so yeah, that's about it in terms of the mechanisms. This one, yeah, it's a small ink window, but that's still really useful. They're both very, they're both made of resin, so they're not heavy pens at all. They're lightweight pens in comparison to other fountain pens. So now let's get started into the writing sample. I'm going to start with the Mont Blanc 146. Oops. Jazz Blue Mont Blanc Ink. I think it's a limited edition ink, if I'm not mistaken. I got it on sale a while back ago. Do a quick writing sample. So it's, it is a very smooth writer, and this is a vintage nib compared to the new one because it's from 1970s. So it has a little bit more springiness to it. It's not a flex nib by any means, but it feels a lot more softer and it's a little bit more bouncier than the usual 146. Now for the custom 23. This nib is very soft. This is one of the softest nibs ever. It's also a medium, uh, this is a fine nib. The ink is Pilot Blue, which is the ink that this comes in out of the box if you buy it from a retail in US. Okay. This is a way smoother nib in my opinion, and this is this writes easily with no weight to it. This is a very joy to write with. There is some line variation, but not too much because this is a fine nib compared to a medium nib. And I use my custom E23 a lot more than my Mont Blanc 146. I just like the nib of this better, but they're both great pens. They're both a joy to write with. I would recommend anyone to get any both of them. This is everyday carry pen for a lot of people. And I thought it would be cool to do a comparison since uh, people sometimes like decide, oh, which one's better. And I think another point I forgot to mention is price, because that is a huge difference. So I bought uh, so I bought this brand new, but I got this used since nineteen seventies, and I got this for about two hundred fifty dollars, whereas this I got this for like two fifty as well on Amazon, but this was brand new. So I got them for about, so the price are pretty much the same for me. But when you buy this new, I think it's upwards of like $500, $600. And at that point, I do not consider that worth it because it's way too expensive for what it is. And at that point, you're just paying for the brand name. Whereas with the Custom E23, for a $250 pen, this is a grail pen for a lot of people. And this is really worth it. I feel this is the, like, in terms of price and value that you get, 
I don't think you can get better with the Pilot Custom A23. If I can recommend one of them, it would be the Pilot Custom A23. But you could look around eBay or like trusted sellers and get the Mont Blanc 146 for a good price as well. And this is a really enjoyable rider as well. And I forgot to mention, the Mont Blanc 146 is a lot wider than the Pilot Custom A23. And they're both smooth nibs, they're just fun to ride, ride with. At the end of the day, it just comes down to preference because the Mont Blanc 146 nib is slightly stiffer and it's not as smooth as the Pilot Custom A23, whereas A23 is slight springier, softer nib, and it's a lot easier to ride with for a long time because of the incapacity and how smooth it is.